Hey guys, it's Tanika, and in today's video, I am going to be doing a good old fashioned haul. Now, the biggest drugstore here in Australia, Priceline, recently had their 50% off cosmetic sale. So, of course, you know, I ran down there and picked up a few goodies. Now, I did end up spending around $150, but I did get quite a lot of stuff and definitely save myself some money. All right, let's start out with some foundation. First up, I picked up the Rimmel Lasting Matte Full Coverage Foundation, and this is in the shade 10 Warm Porcelain. So this one says it is long lasting, lightweight. It's a powder finish formula that leaves the skin truly mattified. Now, I'm not that much into super matte foundations. Why did you pick this up then, Tanika? But the shade looked quite fair, which is why I wanted to give it a go. Oh my gosh, I've got swatches all over my hands, but here is the shade. Yes, that looks quite fair. If you want a review on this one, let me know down below. The next foundation I grabbed is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. This one is in the shade 110 Porcelain, and I do like the sound of this foundation better. It's got a natural finish, it's not as matte. It says it has a medium to buildable coverage with no harsh ingredients, yada yada yada. So this one comes with a pump. Let's check out the shade. Okay, so this one here is the Revlon Photo Ready and this one is the Rimmel that I just showed you before. The Revlon does look a little bit more peachy in undertone, whereas the Rimmel is definitely more neutral. So we'll see how the shade goes. It might need some adjusting. Next, I picked up a concealer and concealers aren't something I buy very often from the drugstore, especially Priceline, because they just don't go fair enough. But this one here is the L'Oreal True Match, and I got it in the shade 1N Ivory. It has very similar packaging to the Maybelline Fit Me. Ooh, but the doe foot is different. It actually has one of those flat applicators. Oh gosh, I'm <laughs> getting it everywhere. So this one here is the concealer. I think it's going to be a good everyday shade. It's not so light that it's going to really brighten, but it's one that's going to blend into the skin, which I do like on an everyday basis when I'm going to work. Next, I grabbed an absolute favorite product of mine. I didn't just grab one. I didn't just grab two. I grabbed three, and I would grab more if they had more on the shelves. This is the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Powder. This stuff is actually so damn good. Anna got me onto it, and I have been obsessed ever since. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it doesn't leave your face looking super matte. It gives it a really nice glow. It sets everything in place all day, and the color is really good for super fair skin. The next three products, you're gonna laugh, because I remember on my channel not that long ago, I was like, oh, I'm not the biggest blush fan. I don't really like trying that many blushes, but then I go ahead and buy three, so. The first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Coral, and this is one of my absolute favorites. I got this to put in my little backup basket. I haven't even hit pan on the one I'm currently using, but I just wanted a backup. The color of this is really nice, and again, it leaves a bit of a subtle sheen that just gives a really fresh, natural flush look to the cheeks. Next is the L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush, and I have heard so many good things about this, which is why I picked it up. I don't really go for this super peachy shade often, but I'm excited to test it out. I found that it does have a little bit of a gold sheen through it, so I think it'll actually look really beautiful. And then next I got the Savvy Cheek and Lip Color in the shade Sleek Rose. I've been wanting to test out a liquid blush for a while now to use for when I'm doing that really natural, no makeup makeup look. I just thought that a liquid would look a bit better than a powder. I didn't want to go full in and get something super expensive, and this was really all that I could find at Priceline. Now, Savvy is like the cheap, cheap makeup of Priceline, so I'm not sure how good it's actually going to be, but I thought if it's something I'm not dipping into that regularly, why get a super expensive product? Unless this is really shit, then I'll have to get a more expensive product. But you get what I'm saying. So let's give it a swatch. Super creamy. 
this is what the color looks like oh yeah I think that'll actually look really nice one of my concerns though will be the longevity so I'll test it out soon I'll let you know how it goes by the way, if you have any affordable liquid blush recommendations, leave them down in the comments below for me, please, so I can check it out in case this one's a dud. Next, I picked up some backup brow products, and the first one is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade Blonde. Now, this is my go-to brow product lately. I think the color is spot on, and so is the formula. It's that perfect in-between of creamy and dry where it just glides onto the skin really easily, but once it's on, it's set in place and it ain't budging. And then to set these brows in place, I picked up another of the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara, and this is in the shade Blondie Brows. It took me a while to find it on the back there. Ugh. This is the drugstore version of Benefit Gimme Brow. It really clings onto those brow hairs and makes them look full and hairy, which I love and I definitely need. So. I don't know if this one was actually half price. No, that one wasn't half price because Essence is already so cheap, but it was $5 full price, which is still a bargain. Next, I grabbed a few brushes. The first one is just a Models Prefer little tiny, what is it called? Liner and brow brush. So this is what it looks like. It's just a really small defining brush. I actually got it to go with my Sigma definer brush. So as you can see, it's a lot smaller. I just think this will really come in handy. I'm trying to work on my cut creases and I find sometimes I need to go in with a dark shadow and just go over that cut. So I think this will be perfect. And if I want, I can also use the brush for its purpose, liner and brows. Ooh, this would also be really good for cleaning up under the brow. Oh. So many uses. Next, I picked up the Thin Lizzy Blurring Brush, and this I got on the recommendation of Anna. I've seen her rave about it. So the directions are to dot the foundation all over your face, then gently glide the brush back and forth across your skin using fluid continuous strokes. I'm excited to see how it goes. I've never ever used a brush like this before. It is so soft, like. And then I've picked up some more of the EcoTool sponges. <laughs> I am just in love with this pink one. So I thought, oh, let me grab a little two pack here. One is bigger than the other. I think my pink one equals to the small green one on top. But this is the Perfecting Blender Duo. And that's that. These sponges are a little more dense than the Beauty Blender, but I do prefer it over the Real Technique sponge. I feel like it's in between those two. I really like the shape of the sponge as well. It doesn't come to a point like the Beauty Blender, but it does come to a flat edge like this. So it's really easy to get up under the eyes and then you can also dip this in powder and set your entire face. Really love it and I'm excited to have some backups. And then lastly, I grabbed some lipsticks. These are the new Girlboss Lipsticks by Astralis. As you would all know, I am obsessed with the Demi Matte Lip Cream in the shade Empower. So these two, I got the shade Black Tie and Couture. 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 These lipsticks come in so many shades. And of course, I was super boring and got two nudes. I'll give them a swatch on my hand for you and I'll compare it to the Girlboss Demi Matte in Empower as well. Okay, so this darker shade is Black Tie, the middle one is Couture, and this is Empower. So they are quite similar. Empower is probably just a little bit deeper. I'm also going to swatch MAC Blankety, which is one of my favorite nudes, just to compare it to that middle shade there. All right, so this one here is MAC Blankety. It's a little bit more rose than the middle lipstick. How nice is this packaging as well? The lid is magnetic, which is just so satisfying. All right, well, that is everything I picked up from the Priceline sale. If you enjoyed watching today, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna hear more about any of the products I mentioned, just let me know which ones down below and I can do a video using them, talking about them, reviewing them, whatever you want. All right, well, I hope you are all having a great day. If you aren't already, come follow me over on my Instagram. And if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.